Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I talk about all kinds of edibles, tropical, subtropical, landscaping stuff. In this video, I'm going to continue my series on edibles on the beach in the dunes of the east coast of Florida. And one that cannot be forgotten, although it probably wouldn't make the top of my list, is sargassum weed. Now, there are lots of different varieties of sargassum weed. You can see here up on the beach we've got, I don't know what variety, but we've got it in different layers. We've got the very old sargassum weed that was washed up by Hurricane Matthew. We have yesterday's high tide sargassum. And then we have down here the fresh stuff. This seaweed can be eaten. And uh, we'll go down and take a closer look at it. But one thing you want to remember when you're eating seaweed is wash it off and as a matter of fact given the number of fish that have staff present on their body uh, and how many fish are found washed up in the sargassum weed I would always cook it thoroughly if you're going to eat it because I wouldn't take the chance of eating something gross and getting sick that could definitely happen uh, this is considered to be one of the most land plant like seaweeds because it has the leaves coming off the center stem it has little bubble air sacs that hold it up we'll go take a closer look at it but there's a lot of ways people eat it. Uh, now this is not a good example because it is old and rotten, but you can see all those little, well, it's got sand in it for sure. Uh, you can see how it's, it's in a big clump, and that's how you'll find it generally. There's a huge area of it called the Sargasso Sea where sargassum weed lives in gigantic patches and there's a whole ecosystem supported under it. Uh, one way you could cook it would be to boil it and then put spices on it. That's the way it's commonly eaten. Uh, I do know people who will eat it raw. Like I said, I think that's super risky, but uh, you know, to each his own. Uh, and then uh, another way would be to go ahead and grind it up and maybe, you know, after you cook it and, uh, and put it in, like kind of treat it like a salad. All right, let's go down and take a look at what it looks like up there. Okay, here's a fairly fresh specimen. Uh, this would go into the category, I'd say it's firm enough that you could you could eat it. You don't want it to get too gross. Now you can see it's got algae growing on it. That wouldn't be the one I'd probably pick. But uh, some of the characteristics are it has these little air bubbles on it. Every part of this plant is edible. Uh, and these long leaves. You can see it does almost look like a land plant, this seaweed. Like a branch with leaves coming off it, almost like a Japanese Japanese you and uh, you know it's pretty soft it's not that tough to, to chew on I've tried it it does have a slightly bitter flavor of course this way it's covered in sand I'd probably get it straight out of the ocean rather than off the beach just for that reason I don't know if you'd ever be sure to get all the sand off of it but you know if you were in a pinch stra trapped on an abandoned beach and there sure aren't any abandoned beaches in Florida but if you happen to find that and you needed to eat something this would be a definite op option it's filled with nutrients and minerals and uh, it's edible with sargassum weed hey if you like videos like this and would like to be notified as new videos come out please subscribe to eat your backyard if you like this video don't forget to watch it <laughs> yeah you just watched it don't forget to like it thanks for watching